Hi, we're here with a quick tip on how to create your own custom palette in Design Init. Now, normally when you bring up a new stitch, it'll come up with this lovely rainbow of colors, which can be very nice, but more often than not, you want to see only the colors that are in your design. And you could go through and start deleting all these colors, but we've got a faster way. So, if you go here to Yarn Color Setup, and notice that we've used none of the colors in our design other than white. Just hit delete unused and then we're going to keep the white one. Put it over here for safekeeping and then hit OK. And then, very important, you click on palette export. Don't use file save as because that saves your stitch. Use palette export and then we're going to call this blank and then hit save. The next time we want to use it we're going to open a new one. So let's pretend that we now want to use our blank one. Hit uh, this button import, look for our blank one and hit OK. Then very important there are two sections here. One refers to the yarn colors, the other refers to stitch symbols. Click remove all on both of them. If you don't do that, then it will try to merge the palettes. That's not what we want. So click OK. And now you see we have our blank palette here. And it's ready to fill with any of the colors we want. The reason that we really like our blank palette is when we're in the graphic studio and we want to create a fair isle pattern there. In that case, we want to only have the colors from our design in the palette. So we start from blank, we pick up the colors, put them into our palette, and then save the custom palette. So um, we hope that you found this tip helpful and that you try it. Hope you enjoy.